Well, one of the most popular keyboardists in Ethiopia is now a taxi driver right here in Washington. In the 1970s, Hailu Megia performed with a famous band in Ethiopia. In 1981, he toured the U.S. with that band and then settled again here in Washington. He's kept his music alive in Ethiopian communities by producing his own record recordings. Now one of those cassettes from nearly 30 years ago is being reissued. VOA's Deborah Block has that story for us. Keyboardist and cabbie, Hailu Mergia, plays music from his 1985 reissued cassette, Mergia and his classical instrument, as he waits for customers at Dulles International Airport outside Washington. He says his Ethiopian customers get excited when they realize who he is. When I told them, my name is Zen, they recognize my name is Zen. They said, are you Hailu Mergia? And they told me about the, how they appreciate my music. Most of them ask me why, why you drive taxis. I told them the same story, the same uh, answer. Look, I just have to make money. Murgia is mostly self-taught. In his younger days, he played in restaurants and bars in Ethiopia and found fame in the 1970s playing with the jazz and soul Walia's band. We were playing with very modern music, so we were very, really popular at that time. For about 20 years in Washington, Murgia made money playing with another band and managing a nightclub. When those jobs ended, he became a taxi driver. But he never let go of his music and produced a dozen cassettes and a CD over his professional career. I just want to play like, like original uh, songs. I just play typical, typical music. Typical perhaps, but also unique. He added new sounds to his 1985 cassette, like the Moog synthesizer and drum machine to traditional acoustic Ethiopian music. He also added the accordion, which had not been heard in Ethiopian music for years. Mergia's style appealed to Brian Shimkovitz, founder of a small record label called Awesome Tapes from Africa. While visiting a music store in Ethiopia, he thought this particular cassette stood out and wanted to reissue it. Mergia was surprised when he got a call from Shimkovitz. I was excited. My question was, how do you get it? Where do you get it? Shimkovitz thought Mergia's sound would have wide appeal. There's also tons and tons of Ethiopians all over the world that would remember this music and would love to hear it again. Uh, I think the music touches on jazz and rock and uh, experimental music, but also, of course, classic Ethiopian music. Mergia thinks the younger generation would also enjoy it. I chose the melodies that can fit for the accordion. They like it because uh, they don't have that kind of sound. Today, Mergia is likely to collect even more fans, since Shimkovitz has released his music in different formats, and it can be picked up on the Internet. It's being marketed in every continent, in record stores of all different kinds. At age 67, Mergia is hoping to reinvent his career, he is going to Europe in November on a tour with other musicians to showcase his distinctive style. Deborah Block, VOA News, Washington.